Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today I've got something a bit different to review today. As you can see, this is a robotic arm. Pretty cool. A little different than my typical content on my channel, but I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Now, as you can see by the size of this box here, I'm going to put it in my secondary cam. This is, you know, it comes unassembled. You have to assemble this. So, um... It comes in quite a few, you know, aluminum pieces, gears, um, sorry, servos, all that stuff. Thankfully, they have a really good assembly video on their YouTube channel. Just pause it, do what it says, and continue on. It really made it a breeze assembling this. They also have a wiring video. So there's quite a few different versions of this arm. So you do have to find the one that fits to the model that you have. But it worked out really well because there are no assembly instructions included in this uh, box but again the video is so good it didn't really bother me that they didn't include assembly instructions the video is going to be easier in my opinion than a diagram on how to assemble it um, it's lobot is the name brand on the box here lay arm is this particular model i'm going to put it over here so you guys can see it in the secondary camera and the actual company on on amazon is called Lewan soul l-e-w-a-n-s-o-u-l and that, you know, I don't know if that'll show up here, but it's on the little UPC code thing. That is the company that actually sells this on Amazon and on their website. I think it's High Wonder or something like that. Is a, don't hold me to it, but that's the, company, the website that, where they list these as well. Here's all the contents on the back that you get inside this box. So let me, let me move the robotic arm to the back a little bit here, and I'll open the box up. Because you do get, you know... I'll put a picture up here now of when I took it before I, I assembled it so you can see how it's all packaged. Got some of the old bags in here. They do give you a really nice screwdriver and just a screwdriver in my fingers was pretty much all I needed to assemble this. You might need a pair of pliers for a few places where you want to make sure you get the nuts on you know, tight enough. So, you know, but really your fingers and screwdriver is all you need. They give you a USB cable to connect it to the USB port to your computer. And this is just more bags and stuff. They got this instruction manual here is very basic. It goes over the app and the, the controller, which I'll show you guys here in a second. So that's all you get inside of the box. I'm going to go ahead and throw that down on the floor, get that out of the way. All right, pull this back. Now, you can power this back here through this AC to DC adapter. That's what powers it so it doesn't take batteries. Here's your on and off switch down here. Hopefully this is showing up in my head cam for you guys. Now, um, I, don't, I wish they would have made a longer cord. This cord is not very long to this power supply. So if you don't have a, a, a nearby power supply and you have to stretch it a bit, you know, a power source, I should say, it, it will tend to pull on the, this entire robot. So make sure you have, you have a, an outlet close by or an extension cord for this. There's three ways to control this. One, they give you this PlayStation, classic PlayStation looking controller. Uh, it actually isn't a PlayStation one, but it looks identical, except for it takes two AAA batteries in the bottom. This connects to this Wi-Fi, uh, excuse me, not Wi-Fi, Bluetooth module that connects to the Adreno board, which is the brains for this robot. If you move it over here, this right here. There also is a Bluetooth, you know, um, module here on the actual Adreno board, and for some reason this doesn't connect to it. It actually comes in these pins and it connects it to it, and there's a, there's a wiring video on their channel which shows you how to wire all this up you get this cable management stuff here which i did there's some zip ties i need to use to make these these wires down here a little bit cleaner but you know this cable management piece here in the black is the most helpful to get your wires all organized nicely so this the bluetooth on the on the board i believe connects to the wife oh, excuse me i want to keep on say wi-fi the bluetooth uh app and this app I'll put a screenshot from the Play Store. Will let you control the lay arm, and I found that the app is actually easier to use than the controller. The controller is a bit clumsy, and you really have to know all the controls. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. The app just has sliders to control each of these. I believe six servos in the arm, so you have a little better idea what you're controlling. This requires a lot more memorization using the controller. Um, but it's also, this is a lot more comfortable than using the, the screen on your uh, phone. The third way to control it is using that USB cable uh, to your computer and using their software. I'll try to link to all their stuff in a video description. They have, 
or software for your PC. And you then, that, that gives you the most flexibility with this. The PC software is gonna let you not only free drive it, but you're gonna be able to set pre-programmed movements, what you're gonna move, a whole series of commands that you're not gonna be able to do through the app or the uh, controller. I think the controller has some preset moves you can use, but to go to the free drive mode, you just do a start and select and it will beep and then you get into the free driving mode with it let me see if i got it there there we go so that's how you that's what we're going to do first we'll do the controller now the controller seems to have the movements are slow and uh it seems to have limited range in the app you can really fly around and go quick you can set the servo speeds and it seems to have way more range like for some reason the range is very limited from what I noticed using the controller. But this would be the easiest way to get up and running because it just automatically connects in here and it goes to the module into the Adreno board, which again, this is the brains of this robotic arm. You know, to assemble this probably took me a couple hours. It wasn't nonstop assembly, but again, just pause the video as you're assembling it. You may have to rewind quite a bit, but a video is a really good way to show how to build this. It's all kind of done in AutoCAD or something where they show you how to build this thing so once you've entered into the free movement mode you can just press these commands lift it up now it does wobble a bit because it really needs a wider base so if you really get into this you might want to try to screw this down to a large piece of uh, plywood or particle board or something so that it uh, won't wobble around so much these top ones like let you turn the jaws on top and then the bottom ones up here will open and close it. When I go to close onto something, if you go very far, the gear starts to go dur, 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 and like it continues to try to close when you're using the controller. So you have to back it back off. But otherwise it's nice and smooth and quiet. Let's see if we can close it down on this little, and then move it around here. So you can move it around. It doesn't have full 360 range because it hits a, a limit on the servo movement, though it seemed like it had more using the app. We'll try to confirm that here in a second. And then I opened it up and let it drop. You can go down. Again, I'm not going to be very good with this because it's a little bit less intuitive using the PlayStation controller because you really have to memorize all these moves. Let's see if I can kind of raise it back up. See if I can, there we go. Kind of raise it up so it's a little better balance there. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go, let's try, try to start a screen recording here. And uh, what we'll do is start recording this and I'm going to go into the app. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and try to turn this controller off just to make sure there's no problems with that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start recording the screen. Oops, went to my Twitter feed for some reason. Three, two, one, and we should be recording now. And you do hold your phone in portrait mode for this, and you go to the Lay Arm app, which I'll have the screenshot. I think I said that a while ago, but I'll make sure I get that in there so you guys know. Now, to connect to the Bluetooth on the board, you go to this little Bluetooth symbol on Android, and you find it in your list here. And here's the Lay Arm. Press the Lay Arm. And it'll connect if you try doing this through the system settings it never it just fails so now i can see i can control this the little sliders here i find this a lot easier see i can turn this and it seems to be you can set your servo speed i think it's the see right here you can set servo speed there with hitting the little gear cancel out of that and here's your movements here boy it's so smooth using the sliders and it seems, see now I have the servo speed turned down. It's set pretty high out of the app, but I think that's, that just seems smoother. And it's really quick by default in the app. Like I said, I have the servo speed. Let me go look at that. At 530, I feel, the lower number I think is quicker. I think it was set to like 120 or something like that. I slowed it down because it was, and it really almost fly around on you. Let's see if I can drop the whole arm there like this. And I just let you turn it. See, like I'm going all the way around. And when I was doing 
the controller just didn't seem to really it seemed like it just had less range but it could just be the controller making me feel that way so this is going to take some getting used to as you guys can see turn it around how you want to do it there go ahead and drop it down bring it back up a lot of different servos here so you've got a lot of different options to uh to do this let's see if i can lean forward there you get really nice precise control so if you just want to free drive this thing i recommend using the app and I'm sure the computer program, which I've not dug into yet, is going to be just as good and even more powerful than the app. But if you just want to grab it and free use it, use the app. I just don't care for the controller very much, even though it's a little bit more comfortable than messing with the sliders on this. All right, guys, I know it wasn't the best demonstration here, but you can you know, pick things up. It's just I have trouble getting to pick it up off the actual table. You can easily have it pick it up out of your hand holding it or have it uh, something on a helping hand or something like a soldering station helping hand you could have it grab something like off that probably if it'll if it can pull it off of it something like that where you got it up high and it can grab it uh, it just has trouble grabbing you know at the uh off the uh, table because it's just a flat surface has trouble getting grip but it's pretty neat i think this runs around a hundred dollars it's just really good for teaching a kid uh, you know, probably junior high age, how all robotics work. It's more of a demonstration piece than it really is going to be super functional. Um, but I think it's pretty darn neat. And uh, if you're interested in something like this to teach your kids or to, if you're a teacher especially, you know, check out those links. I'll try to put as many links as I can remember to their, I think they sell on Amazon, put it on there or their website, uh, the, uh, the iOS and Android apps. Um, and uh, their YouTube channel, which you've got to have that to be able to figure out how to assemble. So I'll try to put all those links in the video description. All right, guys, guys that wraps up this quick uh, demonstration review of the Lay Arm by uh, Lay Wan Soul. Uh, it depends on who you want to go by. You know, they have several different names. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, and uh, click the bell so you know when I do upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a great day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.